Well, as the title suggests, we're going to be changing the front brake pads on this Mini today. To start off with, I'll be removing the slider bolts. You've got one at the top there, and you've got one down the bottom right here. What we'll do is we'll remove those bolts at the sliders, and then we'll remove the caliper. Um, on the other side, the slider bolts actually snapped, so I brought new sliders, so I'll be fitting new sliders on this side today. Just in case these snap, they come as a set, so I may as well fit it all. Well, let's get on with it. I've removed the bolts now. They're a size 13, and they've got, just come out the back of there, and one right there. This caliper is now ready to come off. The easiest way I find to do it, get an old, beat up screwdriver like this one, put it in the top there, on this part of the disc, not on the face of the disc, put it in there and pry it outwards and then do the same underneath down here. As you can see that caliper is coming off now, you don't want it to let it drop on the pipe so just be careful. I'll get, get it off the rest of the way now with two hands and you also have a brake wear sensor running up here but I'll show you that now as we get there. The caliper's off now, I've rested it up the top. Make sure the pipe's not kinked and it's not hanging on the pipe either. The brake pads are out. You've got the sliders here. As you can see, they're moving in and out freely. If you just give them a pull, they pop out. You can give these a clean if you want to and give them a little bit of grease just to keep them smooth. But as I said earlier, I'm replacing them as we've already got new ones. These come out okay. But, we've got new ones, so we might as well put them in. Same down the bottom, it just pops out. We'll get the new ones in there with a bit of new grease. And start getting this all refitted. What I'm going to try and do is show you the assembly process. The way it comes in the pack is everything you've got here. I've opened the grease already. What you have, you have a long one and a short one. On the short one, you've got this little rubber sleeve, which has to go over there. It's a bit tight and it slots into that position. Bit of grease. You don't need to get crazy on the grease, but just get a bit on there. Rubber grommet, or boot, whatever you want to call it. That's popped on. That's actually ready to fit now. Now you've refitted there. The short one goes at the bottom, and the long one goes at the top. So here we go, get the short one in now. Get this one ready. It's just the same as the other one really, but... And this one goes into the top. If you push it all the way in, it seats the boot. And now as you can see, it's nice and free. That's the way it should be. And you've got two new bolts, which we'll go on after. We'll get the piston pushed back now. I had a go at loosening the bleed nipple up here. I don't know well you can see that from there. And it's not going to come undone. I don't want to force it in case it snaps, because then you're going to need a new caliper. So what we have to do is, is push this piston back without loosening the bleed nipple. I'll take up the top now. I'll show you where the brake fluid reservoir is so we can remove the cap off it before we push this piston back. Come to this top corner of the engine. You've got a flap here. Open that flap, and there it is in there. Loosen that cap off. You can leave it resting there like that, just to stop any crap falling in, but just loosen it off. Now we'll go down and push that piston back. That's the tool that I use. It goes into the caliper that way, with the caliper there like that, and then you twist the thread, handle side there, and it pushes the piston back in. When you do this, don't rush to get it back in. Take your time and just let it go back in steadily. Keep an eye on the reservoir at the top to make sure it don't overflow. Right, I'll get this piston back in now. That's going back in nicely. It's not hard to do. I'm just taking my time. And there we go, that piston's all the way back in, so we can get the new pads back in, bit of copper grease on them, and get stuff refitted. 
what we're going to do here is, is refit the new wear sensor on the pads the little like that. this one is the rear pad this one is the front pad so this one goes where you can see it this one goes around the back the wear sensor fits onto this one if you look at the sensor it's 90 degree angle on it that's the sensor side that's what wears down so when refitting it it needs to be fitted that way in the pad like that the brake pad sides that side that's the back it needs to go back in that way and basically just give it a push and that's it fitted as you can see there what I'll do is a little bit of copper grease not too much just on the tabs around there where they contact the metal and don't get this on your pads either as you can see there just a bit of grease around that and the same on this side like that and then this pad's ready to go back I've copper greased this one up as you can see just on the tabs and the pad goes into these grooves top and bottom the best way to do it is at that angle I find go in like that to there sort of straighten the pad out and it pops in nice just like that the next thing I do with the grease rather than paint in the back of the pad like a lot of people do put a bit on the back of this and the back of there on those two and then around the metal face on the piston you don't want to go too heavy on it you do get a little bit of this on the boot just just don't go crazy you can see there's just a little bit on there now there's not loads but there's a bit and this caliper is ready to be refitted Yeah, you have to put this in after, not before. Then, it's just rerouting it. That goes into there. And then we'll follow this old one, which runs up here, goes around the back of the plastic, and you can see it from underneath the car, we'll show you now. This is under the car. This is the back of the brake caliper. If you look up here, right up here, with my little fingers pointing, you've got a white plug and a blue plug. What you want to do is unclip the white plug, pull that apart, and that's where your new sensor plugs into. Well, this is all bolted up now, and it's refitted. You can see the new sensor there, it comes out, it runs up, and clips on up there, clips on there, clips on there, and it goes round the back, clips round the back, and then goes up to about here, where it plugs in. And that's it. That's the front brake pads, done. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd be really grateful for the support. The channel's growing quite good now, so. And I get a lot of good feedback, which I'm grateful for. So thank you to the existing subscribers. Hopefully the video helps you out. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.